Hi, today I'm gonna tell you a little bit more how to deal with dual speed of inverters when you have an inverter to uh, manage a three phase motor. You are able in the configuration, you are able to use uh, two speeds. Uh, let's say uh, your tracker is too fast in reality, then you want to decrease the speed of tracker of the tracker using in, uh, inverter. And in such way, uh, you have to configure, of course, configure your inverter, it depends what kind of inverter you have. I'm, I'm going to show you that in an example of uh, so uh, inverters, but doesn't matter, always in the documentation. And uh, in the normal mode, when you are tracking the sun, then you're going to move uh, pretty slow with the speed, let's call it speed 1. And in the manual mode, when you want to move fast the tracker, or maybe uh, in case when you are finding the, the, the wind hazard, uh, then you want to pretty fast flatter the construction. Uh, so in such way, uh, we reprogrammed the controller. I'm going to show you how, what, do, what do you have to change in the configuration. And then just connect the controller. Uh, with the uh, inverters using this external port. In that way, uh, I'm gonna power this device up using the inverter, so the inverter have to have uh, enough power uh, to put to the, to the controller to, to, to let them uh, work uh, in normal mode. Uh, please check the documentation of the inverter. In some cases, the inverter is not so smart uh, in, uh, and you have to use a uh, dedicated uh, power supply. Now I'm gonna use just this port to supply it and to manage the communication between them. Uh, what's inside? I'm gonna tell you more what's inside today because uh, to make sure you can change some configuration in here. Um, let's open it. Of course you have just the you know, controller and what's in here, uh, you have two places where you can just reconfigure the LCD. This, this one on your, uh, in here. Uh, you can reconfigure uh, how, uh, how flash the light, how the, the light of, of the, of the, uh, of the uh, LCD. So the lighting can be smaller and bigger and using this, uh, this potentiometer you can just change it and of course uh, in here you can just provide the, the quality of the laser in some cases you can, you can just dime it or maybe flash it more so uh, this is just for uh, LCD configuration and under when you just open it make sure that you are opening it pretty gentle because it's a lot of pins in here you have two of potentiometer in here one of them is for uh, for changing the value of uh, power supply for wind sensor so in here you have a power supply from that LM module and you can just configure it uh, whatever you want. In some cases you have a wind sensor uh, just working on 5 volt or maybe 40 volt or maybe 24 volt so you can just change it in here. And in here you can change uh, the filter quality of incoming sensor data. Uh, as you can imagine here you can just connect analog uh, 0 to 5 uh, wind sensor and in some cases you have to reconfigure it because of the noises so y you are reducing the noises in here and you are changing the power supply in here this is what you have in here and these are the jumpers and in such configuration I'm just powering the device using this channel if I will remove that then you cannot just power this device using this channel and in here the zero so in such way I'm gonna put in here the jumper and this is for in voltage jumper if you want to have a 
here 5 volt or maybe your inverter is working with a 5 volt uh, logic then you have to sh switch this jumper in that position this is 5 volt this is 12 to 24 volt 12 to 24 volt this is exactly 5 volt and another tool in here in this section you are just starting uh, the, 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 the powering the, the on the, this, this channel where you can just uh, found the uh, just connect uh, the, uh, the, the, the power supply sensor in some cases when you want to make sure that you are using UPS and when the power is down then you want to use this, uh, this channel uh, as a logic then uh, you can just use this pin in here so what I'm gonna do here I'm just putting uh, the jumper on first position and I want to power this device on using this channel from 12 to 24 volt and let's go to the land and let's see what is what exactly we want to show you uh, we want to show you dual speed uh, controller so I want to change the speed of my uh, tracker depending if I'm in manual mode or if I'm uh, in uh, tracking mode okay so what do we have here we have the uh, self inverter we have here the communication port between the tracker and the self inverter minus just the grounding on the first port for a pin is just the grounding this is 12, 24 volt in here the first pin 24 volt is going here and here I'm just switching that between the, those two ports. This port is important in such case because I'm uh, using here uh, Darrington array. So I'm just sending the grounding signal. And this uh, inverter want to work in a plus mode. So I have to provide here the voltage to, to those pins to make sure that inverter will start left, right. Um, in the depending on what, what kind of speed, speed I want to use, and what you see here, this is 24 volt. This is go left. This is go right, and these are three pins. When you can just provide, uh, configure the inverter uh, three different speeds. And now I'm gonna show you that I want to have a standard movement uh, when the controller is tracking the sun uh, with. Uh, with 700 uh, round per minute, and in in the way when I want to, I'm, when I'm finding the the, sound, uh, the 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 wind hazard, or maybe I'm just moving in manual mode, I want to have a 1,000 round per meter. So what I'm gonna do in here, in manual mode, I'm just moving. Well, thousand round per meters, left and right, of course. But if I will use uh, the 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 sound tracking, sound positioning, then let's move it, and I see I'm moving with seven hundred round per meters. So, as you can see, when I'm just founding the sun. I'm using a different speed, but in case if I'm in manual mode and manually moving the tracker, then I'm using 1000 run per meters. So it is configurable and you can just change the parameter. How this work like? Of course, I have the configuration in the tracker in this module uh, to let you use dual speeds. Uh, if you want to completely different story, completely different communication, then you can just ask, I can just provide it for you.